At lunch, I already ha, 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 ha. Look at him. Hard at work. All low on... Hello you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kaylee. If you're new here today I have a fun exciting video for y'all. I did a full day of eating on my Instagram I've been getting so so many questions about what I eat and you guys love seeing what I post about food So I thought it, this would be a super fun video to film so that you guys can kind of get a little bit more insight on what I eat every single day. Obviously, this video is just one day. I tend to eat different kinds of foods every single day, but this is just a basic what I eat in a day. I tried to make it as realistic as possible, so I hope you guys like it. At the end of the video, I kind of went over calories and macros. I left it for the end of the video just because I know some people can be triggered by that, so I didn't want to offend anyone or anything like that. So if you want to watch that, you're more than welcome to. If you don't, you can skip it it's totally okay with me before we get started make sure that you like and subscribe to my youtube channel and let's get this video started I just finished my workout and got back to my apartment. I am so hungry already. I just worked out shoulders, chest, and tries. We did a push day, and then I also did some abs afterwards. Um, it was a great workout. I'm feeling so good and excited to eat some food. Um, I had some oatmeal this morning, which you guys already saw. And now I'm gonna go make a protein shake, get some fast digesting carbs as well. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna eat, but I'll sh obviously show you guys. And it's gonna be fun. We're gonna eat some yummy food today. I also have to go to work later, but I meal prep all my food. So I'll show you guys before I head to work what I'm packing for my lunch. Okay, so I just got ready. I'm about to head out to work, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm bringing to work because this is a full day meeting and we're not leaving anything out. 
So my lunch is rice, some veggies, and one of these chicken sausages just cut up on top. I also put a teriyaki sauce. I used this sauce, it's coconut aminos garlic sauce on top. I'm also snacking on a piece of cheese and an apple on in the car on my way there. I promise my counters are clean. And then I'm also bringing a one bar and a Celsius. All right, you guys, it is dinner time. I just got back from work. It is about 7, 15, 7 30. I usually don't eat dinner this late, but since I had work and everything, I didn't get home until later. So I already showed you guys what I had for lunch. And then for dinner, I already have some prepped protein pasta. I get the brown rice and lentil pasta from Trader Joe's. And then I also have just a meat sauce that I made. It has pasta sauce on it as well. It's really yummy and it also has some onion in there um, I'm just gonna heat this up for dinner honestly because it's gonna be super fast I'm starving right now so it's gonna be really good okay I just heated it up here is dinner I also added some spinach in there before I put it in the microwave and it kind of like cooks it down um, it's not the best way to cook your vegetables but if you're in a time crunch it's a good hack one thing I love about this pasta is one I was very low on my protein intake for the day and so it has like 14 grams in one serving which is amazing. I just get this from Trader Joe's. It's just their ground beef 96% lean 4% fat and has four servings so it's amazing. It's super easy to cook too which I love because it makes meal prepping really easy. Okay, so I just ate dinner and it's about 8.30 now. I'm having my last little meal of the day because I needed something a little sweet. Um, I just made two rice cakes with PB2. I just add a little bit of water to make like a little paste like that. And then I put banana, cinnamon, and honey on top. So this is gonna be the last thing that I eat for the whole day. All right, you guys, so it is actually the next day. I wanted to kind of go over all of the calorie and macro content um, for each meal just because a lot of people find that super helpful. Um, if you get triggered by that or you don't want to listen, it annoys you, you can totally skip this part of the video. You don't have to listen. But anyways, let's start with breakfast. I had oats. This is a very good pre-workout meal. This is like my favorite go-to meal. It has a lot of whole grain in it, a lot of good carbs, and it also has some fats from the peanut butter and flax seeds. Also has some protein from the collagen. So this is usually what I eat right before I go to the gym if I work out in the morning. Um, it's just the easiest for me, and I genuinely look forward to eating my oats in the morning. Post-workout, I had a bagel with some cream cheese and turkey slices and a protein shake. Um, I am all for getting your protein in post-workout. I think it's super important. I know a lot of people say it's not as important anymore but I just like to because it makes me feel good and I tend to notice a little difference in my performance and my physique if I do eat protein post-workout and then I also had some fast digesting carbs from the bagel and then a little bit more protein and fat from the cream cheese and the turkey slices. Little snack I had a piece of cheese it was about 120 calories 10 grams of fat and 8 grams of protein. I also also had just a little jazz apple love apples they're amazing they have a bunch of fiber in them and I just love fruit in general so you'll see I do tend to eat quite a bit of fruit throughout my day and then for a lunch I had a cup of rice and one of those chicken sausages those are I get the jalapeno flavored ones and they are amazing you guys this honestly was just thrown together in like three minutes I was running so late so it's a little low in protein and I also had the protein bar as a snack as well for dinner I had a protein pasta made from brown rice and lentils and then I also had some ground beef on top as a meat sauce I added spaghetti sauce and onions to it as well this is a little more protein packed to kind of make up for what I was missing through lunchtime. Last but not least, I had my rice cakes. I sometimes will have Greek yogurt and berries, but today I think I was out of yogurt. That's why I had rice cakes instead. I just made a PB2 powder uh, 
paste for my rice cakes and then I put some banana honey and cinnamon on top for like a sweet little treat um, it is like one of my go-to meals um, I've also used that as a pre-workout if I'm not super hungry I'll have rice cakes instead um, just because oatmeal really fills me up because it has a ton of fiber in it so if I'm not feeling super hungry I'll have some rice cakes all right y'all that concludes this video I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful useful for someone out there. I loved making this video. I filmed it the first one and I just really didn't feel like myself. It didn't really feel natural if that makes sense so I refilmed it and I'm so much happier with how this turned out. It feels so much more realistic for my lifestyle. I want to be transparent with you guys always so I'm super happy that I refilmed it and this is how it turned out so I'm super happy with it and it kind of showed you guys what I realistically would eat if I had like a busy schedule because not everyone can work from home. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!